and welcome in course on Swayam. This course basically facilitate you in understanding a very pertinent and important topic with which everyone among you deal, struggle and try to understand. The title of my course is Research Ethics and Pleasurism. Either you are a researcher or you are a postgraduate degree student or you are a research guide or you are a faculty who is aspiring to publish their research papers. Everyone among you often try to find out the answers which we are going to raise in this course and we will also facilitate you to find the answer of those questions. The questions which are related to ethical practices as a researcher. As a researcher, as a teacher, as a supervisor, you always want and wish that there should be quality in your course, there should be quality in your publication, there should be quality and originality in your research. So the originality of work, quality of work and authenticity of your publications are some key concerns which we want to address in our career and to address your questions I am here with my course. This course aims to developing an understanding about the philosophical orientation of research ethics. Many of us have heard the terms like research ethics, publication misconducts, publication ethics, plagiarism, academic cheating and many times we are not able to defend and differentiate between these different terms. So what we used to do? We try to find out a answer, we try to find out the meaning of such questions. This course is here to provide you the meaning and answer of such questions. This course will also aim to promote the academic integrity and ethical practices among you as a researcher and a faculty member and we will facilitate you through this course for acquiring necessary skills to produce quality research work. This course has certain objectives. The course starts with the objective to develop conceptual understanding of research ethics, intellectual honesty and research integrity among the researchers and the faculty members. This course aims to develop an acceptance about the plagiarism as an unethical and wrong academic practice. The course will also talk about different forms of plagiarism because there is no universal classification of plagiarism. Somewhere you may find four types of plagiarism, somewhere you may read five types of plagiarism, somewhere you may read ten types of plagiarism. So this course will basically try to find out what are the common forms of plagiarism, how they are different from each other, how you can check plagiarism in your academic work. So we will talk about different softwares, either open source software, freely available software, institutional software as well as the paid software. This course will also help you to avoid publication misconducts and adopt best practices for publishing your research output. Many times many researchers struggle to find out appropriate citation style in their research work. So this course will also deal with different citation styles so that you can identify and use appropriate citation style for your work. It can be APA, it can be MLA, it can be IEEE, it can be Harvard or any other citation style. Uh, this course will make you ready to adopt good practices as a research mentor and guide. We have structured this course into weekly modules. The course is of 8 week duration but there are 7 modules. The first module is talking about research ethics and scientific conduct. Another module is talking about basics of plagiarism. Third module will talk about types of plagiarism. Fourth module we will discuss about plagiarism detection softwares. Then we will talk about publication misconducts and publication ethics. Then we will talk about different practices which you can adopt to avoid plagiarism. And we will also discuss different regulations 
proposed by UGC and other bodies and universities to avoid plagiarism in India. In the 8th week, there will be no reading module, there will be an activity or course and assignment which you need to complete and submit. So, the whole course is designed into 8 weeks of the duration. During these 8 weeks, in each week we will expect that you should at least spend 3 to 4 hours of your active engagement. You can spend this time in many settings as you can, but our suggestion will be that at least complete all the components of one module in one setting. The input to you in the module is designed in such a way that we will provide you e-text in form of web pages and PDF to read. We will give you some small YouTube videos as well as the videos integrated with the module to watch. There will be a discussion forum where every week we will put certain questions and you need to answer those questions as well as you need to reflect on the answers of your colleagues. There will be certain inbuilt activity in every module which you need to do to practice what you have learned and there will be a module and quiz which you need to answer. We will assess your progress and performance through the activities in which you will participate through the weekend online quiz in which you answer the questions about the module. There can be some discussion forum questions in which your participation will be compulsory so that you also reflect your ideas as well as reflect on the ideas of your peer learners. At the end of course, there will be a terminal assignment which will be a compulsory kind of activity. Without submitting the online quizzes and terminal assignment, you will not be able to get your certificate. So, for certification on successful completion of all the quizzes, activities and terminal assignment, you will be awarded the certificate of completion of the course. I think this is your course towards which everyone was looking. This course is a unique one as it is self paced course and you earn your certificate. But despite of earning the certificate, the most important thing is that if you complete this course, you will be an ethical practitioner in the area of education. So, let us start exploring the course and begin the journey. I welcome you all once again in the course on research ethics and avoiding plagiarism.